of Avonlea kind of tells the story of my life um, from right when I began my life in Nova Scotia right through to my teaching career in Avonlea which is quite an eventful time I suppose because it's um, teaching a whole lot of children um, from a huge age, age range from tiny wee ones right up to the huge bossy kind of bolshy um, boys in the back of the class so you'll see if you come and see the show that uh, I have a few run-ins with um, some of the older boys. I think the audience is on my side without being biased about about it because I Anne is a is an emotional I, knew I was calling Anne. Fred even before I knew it. <laughs> there she comes. Anne. When she comes comes yeah, around to forgiving me that um, it's sort of been a long time coming. My whole goal throughout it is to impress Anne. And um, it's a really fun part to play because there are some kids in the cl um, class who just are causing havoc and then I'm just sitting there crossing my arms. In 2009, Youth Theatre Works did the play of Anne of Green Gables, which was our inaugural play. So very important that we really hit the audience with something wonderful to remember. And it was so successful. And I just really wanted to revisit the sequel to Anne of Green Gables. Strange Child to Home. I don't want to discourage you. And of course. She had to split her children up, so I was sent to an orphan asylum, where a couple of years later, Mrs. Um, no, Marilla came and she sort of, well, she sent a woman, Mrs. Spencer, to collect me. But when I got to Green Gables, she wasn't, Marilla wasn't very pleased with me because she was expecting a boy. 